only on Cablevision. The news that's as local as local news gets. News 12, Long Island. Welcome back to News 12 Long Island. I'm Lily Stolzberg in for Ron Corning. I'm Lawrence Vaughn. Students protesting. They're battling against bullying. They say the bully is their principal. News 12 Long Island's Christine and Singa is in Valley Stream with more. Christine. Well, Lily, students here at Valley Stream South High School were out here protesting earlier this afternoon. They claim their principals preventing them from starting a club in their school, a club that is all about tolerance. GSA! Chance for GS. High school students today, many who say their principal, Maureen Henry, and district administrators have prevented them from starting the club, even though students have followed all the proper procedures. Essentially, what the school administration has tried to do over the past four months is not only bully these students and threaten them and intimidate them, but is keep this club that supposedly they say and they're approving in the closet. GSA is described as a school club for not only gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender students, but heterosexual students and faculty as well. Well, organizers say it's a way to bring everyone together and teach tolerance and add there are more than 90 such clubs currently on Long Island. They're having a hard time understanding why they're out here protesting when it was scheduled and the announcements were all made this week and all the students were invited to come. High school senior Kelly Carpentieri says that's not true at all. Carpentieri came out as a lesbian two years ago. She says she and a number of other students had a meeting with their principal a few months back and told her why they thought it was so important to start a GS. Say here. And I said that I, you know, people say the words gay and faggot all the time. They're they're thrown around every day. Everybody says them. And she said, Oh, well, when I was in high school, I used to call people faggots, but I didn't mean it like gay. Well, you don't have to mean it as gay for it to have a negative connotation. No, I'm not going to make any comments on that. Now, now Principal Marsh, Marsh would not return, not return any of our calls today, today instead just referring us to the superintendent's office. office. You did just hear from him right there. And he says, again, that the club had been scheduled to have its first meeting this afternoon. Um, and uh, about the time that the protests had started, and the protesters, meantime, say that one announcement was made about that meeting, and that was just late this morning. That is the very latest tonight in Valley Street. I'm Christine Ensing on News 12, Long Island. Lily. Thanks, Christine. And the alleged refusal to allow a gay club at the Valley Stream School causing outrage on our Facebook page. Karen posts, being a teenager is hard enough without having to deal with bigotry. And Jimmy says it's more than just a club, it's a support group for kids that need it. And Dawn writes, kids need more opportunities for interaction with others. Gay has nothing to do with it. And Kristen had this to say, I was in the Gay Alliance Club in high school years ago, but because I am, not because I'm gay, but it's important to educate people on the subject. Now we want to hear your thoughts. You can just go to News 12 Long Island's Facebook page, click the like button, and post your thoughts on any of the stories we're covering. And that leads us to our question of the day. Should school officials be allowed to ban gay student clubs? Log on to News12.com and let us know.